Welcome to Midday. I'm Jennifer Abreu. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday. It's election day and a lot of people around the Ozarks and the country are heading out to the polls. Color 10 is your local election headquarters. Voters in Missouri have been heading to their polling places on this November 8th midterm elections. Many federal, state and local issues will be decided today. Color 10's Joshua Pineda is live at one of Greene County's polling centers with updates regarding voter turnout. Now, Tim Josh, how is it looking out there? Jen, I'm here at Battlefield First Baptist Church where Eric Burleson just over an hour ago cast his ballot here to vote today. And he is running for House District 7, which was vacated by Billy Long. And after speaking with election judges, they say there was a line wrapped around the building when the polls opened at 6 a.m. this morning. Now, I just spoke to Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler, who says that Greene County is at 11% voter turnout. Scholler also recommends that voters study the ballot and know the issues so that when you come to cast your ballot at the polling place, you won't be there too long. Now, each voter is assigned a polling place that is based on your home address. But if you know you can't make it to your voting center, then you can go to, then you can go to one of five central polling places in Springfield. One of them being the Missouri State Harrington David Welcome Center, which I was at here this morning. You can also go down to Mercy Hospital, the City Utilities Transit Center, Cox Health South, and the Greene County Historic Courthouse. Now, central polling locations are places where anyone who is registered to vote can cast their ballots. Now, the polling places opened up at 6 a.m. this morning, and they're going to close at 7 p.m. But if you're in line by 7 p.m. tonight, then you can still cast your ballot. Reporting in Battlefield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First.